Hey guys, this is Colin at Shift Synth One. I wanted to do a lesson today over the pairing of the Novation circuit and the Arturia key step here. So I think that this the pairing here is actually a fantastic combination for beginner electronic music producers. It's highly portable. It's a, a simple combination that's relatively inexpensive. You get all of the features of a DAW inside of the Novation circuit and a versatile MIDI keyboard with an arpeggiator and a sequencer. Now, I'm not going to go too deep into the Arteria key step because the key step has a gigantic user manual that goes really deep into the functionality of this thing. Arteria did a fantastic job on the manual for the key step. Now, they don't cover everything, and unfortunately, the Usability of MIDI devices are highly contingent on the device that they're hooked up to, meaning the Novation circuit. So at any point, you're not sure how the sequencer works, or you're not sure how the arpeggiator works, I'm not going to be going too deeply into those today. There are tons of YouTube videos out there on this stuff, and the manual, cover, I think, covers it fantastically. So I'm just giving you guys a warning about that. So I really want to cover a few things in this series. I want to cover what the Arteria Keystep can do with the Novation circuit, and how it can supplement the Novation circuit to make a really powerful combination for someone who either wants to keep a dollless uh, setting while keeping it minimalistic and inexpensive, or someone who's just getting started and you know wants to invest a few hundred dollars into learning arpeggiators and sequencers and a, a, a very simplistic DAW that is the Novation Circuit. One of the things that I hated the most about getting started on all this stuff and watching YouTube videos to learn about all these things was you always saw uh, the people with a setup and people never would explain what it is that's going on with all the wires. You see a lot of wires going on today. Um, and I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown of what it is that's going on here. I have the Arteria key step, which is, it's not battery powered. It has to be plugged into a power source to operate. And I have, currently have it plugged into my Mac here. So that's what this cord is. That's the power supply for the Arteria key step. I also have my Novation circuit power supply going on. That's this black cord up here at the top. And I have a Focusrite audio interface because whenever I record my Novation circuit into my computer during presentations. I like to record the circuit directly into my computer instead of having the audio play out loud. That's what this black cord is doing. It's, it's routing the audio from my circuit into the focus right. And there are a few necessary cables that you'll need if you, if you plan on using this combination. You'll need these two five pin MIDI adapters that go with the Novation circuit. They come with the circuit. You'll also need two um, five pin MIDI cables. Now, one, this looks like a lot. I, one of them is really long because I use it with like my core mini log and one is really short. And I realized that this just wasn't long enough when I was using it for my other MIDI devices. So I, I upgraded to a, a nice long one. So I wanted to show you guys how these guys connect and what settings that you need in the Arteria key step to make this all work. Now, there's two approaches that you can take with the Arteria key step and the Novation circuit when combining these two. One is that the Arteria key step is the hub, and if that's the case, your timing clock is going to come out of this knob here, the rate. I don't recommend that. I recommend doing the clock out of the Novation circuit because the circuit has a interface that tells you exactly the BPM that is currently running on the circuit. And you don't get that with the key step. You don't know what the rate the key step is running at because it's a simple knob. So in order to do this, in order to set it up so that the Novation circuit is the brain, the clock, there are a couple things that you'll want to do. First of all, it's a good idea to have all of the setting lights on that dictate the uh, MIDI in and out on the Novation circuit. So I'm going to quickly turn those off, turn off the circuit and show you guys what I'm talking about here. I'm rebooting up the circuit, holding down shift. And as you'll see, all of these lights are turned on except for this light right here. And these lights are the clock lights. You do not want to have a clock in 
So the, the left light here, the left blue light, is the clock in setting for the Novation circuit. And the right is the clock out setting on the Novation circuit. Since I want the Novation circuit to be the hub here, I want the clock in setting, the sync in setting on the Novation circuit to be turned off, which is what you're seeing here. It's, I'm gonna turn that light off. The one on the right is clock out, meaning that the Novation circuit's clock is being transmitted. And that you want on because you want the arterial key step to be operating on the Novation circuit clock. So I'm gonna press the play button here to confirm the setting. The arterial key step also needs to be adjusted in order to make this pairing work. On the back of the arterial key step, there are very small switches. You want the switch setting to be on MIDI. So once you have those settings established, you're going to want to connect those five pin adapters to your five pin MIDI cables. You're going to want to connect one of them to the in on the Novation circuit attached to the out on the Arturia key step and one vice versa. So you have MIDI going from the Arturia key step into the circuit and clock information going from the Novation circuit into the Arturia key step.